llamo Marlene um, en el momento estudio el español. Um, I would recommend it because I think it's an additional language to whatever you're doing. And um, also you, whatever skills you have like in every context, you can always use it in your language. So it's like, for example, I study sciences and maths. So I could always use um, environmental um, studies or something like that and, and talk about it in my Spanish exams. And obviously I score higher because I have kind of more related topics and I kind of get more, um, what's it called, specific, specific key language that the examiners would require for you um, to get higher marks sort of thing. I realised that key vocab, um, what else, verbs, any adjectives, any as well English that you can bring to the table because I think that there are so many similar words in English to Spanish, unbelievable, you actually won't know until you study the language and it's also the same in French. So if you have kind of a backup um, of all these different languages and also adjectives and adverbs and all this type of stuff, it will actually help you to understand the language more. I've kind of got a creative side to me, um, I used to do graphics um, I know that you can express yourself with your drawing, but sometimes expressing yourself through words is as more effective as the other. So it's like if I if I can talk in another language, it it kind of brings me joy that I can talk in something else apart from English because I can because I know that I'm getting there. Some I'm getting somewhere where I can use it for something. Yeah, I would definitely say that it's something worth taking up because I have a part-time job at the moment. And um, I didn't realise that studying the language would actually really help within a business, within a community. Um, there's loads of Spanish customers in French, so I can always communicate with them and everyone's always like, I've got a complaint sort of thing, go and speak to them, um, try and persuade them to buy the shirt sort of thing and I always kind of help them out and I actually do get the sales in. So it's a way of not only you being employed in the future, which employers really do want someone to have languages, but also for you to communicate effectively. And I really do think that if someone likes to communicate and someone likes to talk and someone likes to have some banter and have a laugh, I think language will really, really help. Well, I want to become a scientist or even a doctor. So what I wanted to do, I kind of wanted to um, use my sciences, but also travel around the country. So I wanted to help poor people, unfortunate people and find new cures, find new diseases sort of thing but also because of my languages I can do that, I can travel and I can see the world and I can communicate effectively and especially in science communication is really important not only to say this is what I know but also to speak with people to understand how they're feeling, to kind of know what their pain is and so that you can relate or even empathise with them.